Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Uh, today, I'm going to be making like a coin system. So basically, uh, the coins that are very similar to like the Mario games where they are like a 2D texture and they spin on the Y axis. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is make our third person character. So I've done this so many times now that I'm not going to even explain it. Um, you guys could check out my other videos, but basically all you have to do is connect the camera and then our inputs for the character are going to be the left stick uh, movement and for the uh, camera, it's going to be the right stick movement. Um, I'm not going to even really explain this again, just because uh, you guys should know. So we're just going to finish this real quick. And then for the camera, you could change the offset distance to 250 and 4. That's what I found is best. So now if we go into the game, there we go. We got our perfect uh, third person camera set up. So now for the coin, I have our texture right over here. This is the texture that we're going to be using for the coin. Um, here, I'll, I'll go into it and so you guys can look at it. Um, but it's, it's basically just a really simple pixel art coin I found on the internet. You can go look up mario coin pixel art and it should pop up um but the whole objective is to make this move so what we're going to want to do first is go to objects and we're going to go to special objects and get our rotating objects and we're going to use a box in this case um so for the box we're going to turn off these except uh for the destructible uh we want it to be destructible by our person so we're going to turn on person and we're going to turn this to invisible just because we don't want to see the actual box we want to see the texture so for the uh rotating box we can go ahead and connect our texture to that and um if we go ahead and look in the game we should have that our uh coin is basically just upright it's not moving at all and we want it to do its little spinning thing um so i want to mention something too that our coin is connected to the z center it's not connected to anything else so that means that it will uh basically move on z um so it will move directly on it and that's what makes the effect look you know like it's moving in one area um but for the rotating box we're gonna go ahead and grab a constant um in this case uh one like a constant output of one is too fast so i'm gonna go ahead and change it to 0 0.10 and then um if we go ahead and connect this it won't do anything so what we need is a counter so let's go to logic or uh, uh where's counter uh counter <laughs> right here uh counter and we're gonna go ahead and connect that to count up and we're going to go into the counter and change this to loop and we're going to change it to one so basically once it gets to one it restarts and it keeps counting up to one and that makes it kind of slow so if we go ahead and look in the uh we can put this to the y axis because it's going to be spinning on the y so if we go ahead and look in game we can now see that our coin is spinning properly this is what we want it to do um, but if we go up to it, uh, nothing will happen. So what we need to do is go into the rotating box and, or not the rotating box, sorry, go into our person and uh, we're going to do destructive towards uh, a box. So basically we're going to be destructive towards our rotating box. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see and see how it looks. So there we go. We can uh, go ahead and destroy it, but I think I want to make it um, so that there's like a sound effect. So what we could do is um, we can go to objects, sensors, and we can grab a destroyed sensor and go ahead. We can connect that to there, um, to our rotating box. So basically what happens is there will be an output once our rotating box is destroyed. So uh, with this output, we will go ahead and grab um, a sound effect and for our sound effect, we'll obviously pick um, coin collect. There we go. Um, so we can now go ahead and with this output, if broken, um, it will play the coin collect sound. So now if we go up to it, uh, we can uh, go up to it and boom, there we go. Uh, it will play the coin collect sound. Uh, we can go ahead and remove that little invisible box thingy with turning uh, visible off for the destroyed object. 
And if we go up to it, um, there we go. It looks like it's a, a perfect looking coin. Um, now, uh, if you decide to have multiple coins in your level, which most likely you will, you won't have only one coin, uh, this will become uh, very, uh, what's it called? Like it, it will become too much for the uh, limit that you guys, for the nodons. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect this. And we're going to go ahead and get our program layout, uh, wormhole entrance and uh, wormhole exit. So these are both um, A's, which you want to make sure that they are. So this is the entrance. So we're going to go ahead and connect our constant and our counter to this. So basically right now, um, our wormhole entrance is collecting what we did originally right here. And all we have to do is it's giving the same output from our A, so we just have to connect it to our rotating box on the Y axis, and there we go. So now what we could do is we can go ahead and copy and paste this literally anywhere we want to, and it will be its own little unit. So we can go ahead and we can just make tons of them just because why not? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to show you guys that um, literally, you can put as many as you want. Um, obviously, you guys still have to watch out for the nodon count uh, because you are limited on nodons, but uh, this should be uh, definitely more uh, conservative just because you don't have to copy the constant and the counter every single time. So if we go in the game, we can go ahead and see that we have coins everywhere. Uh, we can go ahead and pick them up normally, and they all work. Uh, I know I, I went a little bit fast for this tutorial, but it, it's pretty basic. Um, hopefully, it fulfilled what you guys needed for the coins. It's been suggested. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.